Hey guys, we're out here with the whiteboard again today. We're going to be talking about another family of plant that's pretty easy to identify. You just have to have kind of a sharp eye for it. But one of the things I like best about this family, it's the mustard family, and it can be found all over the world. There's 3,400 different species. I mean, you can eat every single inch of this plant. It's a really good one to know, especially in the springtime is the best time to find it. But as you can see, I've got some pretty pretty decent drawings. I mean, it's not the greatest. I'm no Picasso, but I mean, that's not bad. Not bad for just 20 minutes of drawing. It actually took me 20 minutes to do that. That's how bad of a drawer I am. <laughs> but anyways, this will give you kind of a good reference for it. All right, as you can see, mustard family flowers all have four petals. If we got here, believe it or not, those are supposed to be petals. And you got four sepals, that's those green things underneath the petals, right there. Those are sepals. There's four of those. And you have to kind of pull apart the flower to kind of look at the stamen that are inside of it. But it'll have two, two short ones and it'll have four tall ones. And of course, it'll have a long pistil, like we got there. But you have to tear apart the plant to really see it and you have to have a sharp eye but some are different I'll show you a I'll take you on a walk here in a little while and I'll show you what the mustard family has to offer here's an awesome example of the mustard family you can see these guys we'll get close to these flowers here Here's a better look at those petals. As you can see, there's four of them. It's hard to see the stamen. I'll get a closer look at those here in a second. Okay, as you can see here, I pulled apart one of the flowers so you can see it a little bit easier. Give you a better look at the whole thing. You can see you've got your sepals, which are right here, these little green things underneath the petals. Those are your sepals. There'll be four of them around the flower. Just like you've got four petals, you'll have four sepals. I'll go ahead and pull this thing apart so you guys can get a better look at some of the stuff that's inside it. As you can see, you got two short ones and we got four long ones. These are the stamen that we were talking about earlier. It's a pretty good look at it. Thank goodness for zoom because this is kind of a tiny little part of a flower. Here's a little better look, a little closer. Too short, four long. And as you can see right there in the center, we got our pistol. Right there's a better look at it. All right guys, there you have it. Pretty simple to, family to identify. Remember, as long as you know these key characteristics, remember that it's got four petals, four sepals, four, four tall stamen and two short stamen. These guys here, the tall ones and the two little ones. As long as it has those characteristics, you'll be all right. Just make 100% certain that it's a member of the correct family, no matter what family of plants that you're trying to identify. As long as it has that, then you're good to go. But I hope you guys liked the video. It helped you out a little bit. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments. And as always, keep your blade sharp and your mind sharper. See you next time.